So in this video we're going to look at the solution set for a homogeneous system of linear equations and demonstrate that the solution set is a subspace of R3. So here's the system x1 plus x2 minus 7 x3 equals 0 x2 minus 4 x3 equals 0 and x1 minus 3 x sub 3 equals equals 0. So this is a homogeneous system and we know how to solve a, uh, solve a system of equations. We just put it into uh, matrix form. So here's the coefficient matrix augmented with the zero vector. And we put that into reduced row echelon form and then interpret the result. And in this case, when we, when we do that, we get that the solutions look like this, x sub one, x sub two, x sub three. The three components are gonna be equal to three r comma four r comma r. So here's what the solution vectors look like um, for our system of equations. And then what I want to do is show that the solution to this system is actually a subspace of R3. We know it's a subset of R3 because it's a three component vector. And we know that R is just any real number we want it to be. So there's infinitely many vectors in the subspace of, all, of R3 but not all vectors in R3 have this form. So again, we would just need to show uh, closure under scalar multiplication and closure of vectors of this form under vector addition. So we just, we'll sit down here, we'll say let, uh, let C be a scalar, so a real number, and we'll let, uh, let's do 3x comma 4x comma x is clearly a element from the set of vectors that look like 3r, 4r, r, where r is a real number. So just grab an arbitrary member uh, from this set and then do the scalar multiplication. So we do c times the vector 3x, 4x, x, which equals distribute the c into the vector. So we get three and then uh, inside of here because we're doing product of uh, real numbers the order of multiplication won't matter so I'll do three times c times x four times c times x and c times x and this equals the vector that looks like three r four r r if we let r equal the real number c times x and that's all r is is a real number and because c and x are both real numbers c times x is a real number r so we're closed under scalar multiplication because when we multiply by a scalar we get a vector that has the form uh, that is required for membership in this subset right here 3r 4r r so th thus 3r, 4r, r, vectors of this form, the subset is closed under scalar multiplication. Now we want to show closure under vector addition. Uh, so now consider my horrible penmanship. Now consider two vectors, we'll say 3x, 4x, x, and 3y, 4y, y, that are elements of the subset that looks like vectors of the form 3r, 4r, r. I could explicitly say that x and y are real numbers because that's the requirement that r has to be a real number. But by saying that I'm an element of the set, that kind of implies that X and Y are real numbers. So note, let's go ahead and add them. If we do 3X, 4X, X plus 3Y, 4Y, Y, if we do the sum, we just do component by component addition. So first component plus first component, second component plus second component component comma third component plus third component but notice for the first component the three factors off for the second component the four factors off 
and we'll leave the third component alone. And this has the form 3R, 4R, R, where r is just equal to the real number you get when you add x plus y. So when we added the two vectors from the subset, we wound up with a vector that had the same form that's required for membership in the subset. This means that the subset is closed under vector addition. So the subset is closed under vector addition. because the subset, my face is somewhere over here, is closed under scalar multiplication and vector addition, the subset Oh, it's getting worse. My penmanship's getting worse as I go. The my hand's getting sore as I go. The subset is a subspace of R three, and it's a subspace of R three because this is clearly a subset of R three. All vectors uh, with three components.